Hi, this is Laura Rogers with my SharePoint Data View Web Part Series, and today I'd like to show you how to take a list on a SharePoint site and display it on another site within the same site collection. First of all, I have this top level site and I have an announcement list with one announcement in it, and I would like this list to be displayed on a subsite called Travel System. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open my Travel System site in SharePoint Designer and I've created a web part pages document library. So I can click to create a new blank web part page, which is just going to be the canvas for me to create my data view web part. And I'm just going to put it in a document library called web part pages. Once this uh, uh, blank web part page has been created, I can just go into SharePoint Designer and navigate to that library and open this blank web part page. So for my, for my data view web part, I'm going to have a data source library on the right side of the page. So to start from scratch, I can do data view and click insert data view and that will give me this data source library. Now in my data source library, you'll notice at the very bottom it has a link that says connect to another library. Well, it's a little misleading because you're not really creating an, a connection to the library from here. You're, you have to connect to the whole site. So, let's see. I'm just going to call this um, connection top level, and I'm going to create a put the URL to that top level site in here. If you try to put a URL to a library in here, as you would think that you would need to do, it'll just give you an error. So when I click OK. Then I have this whole top level section in here that shows me all the lists and libraries in that other site in the same site collection. So I want to find that announcements list. And so now that I have all the fields listed that exist in my announcements list, I'm going to take the title and the body, drag them over onto the page, and I want to clean this up just a little bit, go into the properties and change the layout to something that looks a little bit more like an announcement, ignore the error, and change the formatting of my the body so it looks prettier. So I'm going to save this web part page and go over to my browser and I'm going to open this web part page up again and now I see my announcement. I have to save this web part off so then I can use it on other sites. Click export save it, just save it to my desktop. So I created this data view web part on the travel system site and I want to go ahead and show you how I can take this web part and put it on any other site in the site collection. So I'm going to go to this um, project system site and edit mode. I have to go to click add a web part and go to the advanced web part gallery and options. Import and then this is where I'm going to go navigate to that file on my desktop and upload it. Now I can drag it on my page, exit edit mode, and you can see that I have the announcements that exist on the top level of my site and I'm showing it on a, another subsite so I could take this web part and insert it anywhere um, in the whole site collection. And since this web part was created on the travel system site, We'll go ahead and navigate over there just to kind of complete up what I was showing you and insert this web part on the travel system site also. Browse, change browse to import, import it from my desktop. Now there's a whole other way that you could do this where you, um, you have a web part gallery that exists at the top level of every site collection and you can actually upload this web part to the gallery so that anyone, anytime anyone hits the add web part button on any page in the site they'll always see that same announcements list um, that exists on the top level of your site. So what I was doing, what I showed you was just sort of a onesie twosies way of inserting the web part on different sites in the site collection but the other method would be if you wanted to permanently have it in the list of web parts. So now I have this announcements web part showing at the top level of the site collection and that original data view web part, um, that web part page that I created, I can just delete it. I don't need it anymore. It was just temporarily used 
as um, as my canvas for creating the data view web part. All done. Thanks.